Hello everyone, I am your host Fetalis Bless. Welcome back to my channel. I'm coming on today to share with you guys some high-end modern decor pieces that are so easy, fun, and glam to make. And these are the items that we will be using for our DIYs today. So you know what time it is. It's time to grab your tea slash coffee and a donut or a muffin with that and let's get started all right everyone we have these foam circles here and we're going to use them to make our first decor so i have three of them and one i'm going to keep solid and the other two i'm just going to take my exacto knife what i did and cut them in half well not really yeah cut this little opening here so we can join them together later on to make our loop design so we're going to start painting two of them with the black acrylic paint and one with the silver acrylic paint. So I'm just going to paint them and apply one coat of paint and let it dry and we'll see how it looks from there. Okay now our circles are dry and I will have to do a little touch up <laughs> on them right here where I have the strings. I had the string to hang them up to dry. So I'm just going to use some more paint and touch up the parts that need to be touched up. And I'm just going to add some of this black glitter to the paint because I don't like how it looks kind of dull. I want to add a little spruce, a little shine. So I'm just going to add the glitter over the paint as I um, put the second coat of paint going around the circle. And as you can see here, the one with the glitter looks very nice. Okay, here we have our circle, our little loop that we painted silver. And on this one, I'm going to add the crushed glass. So I'm going to use some Mod Podge along with our clear crushed glass. So we're just going to add the Mod Podge going around. And now we're just going to sprinkle on our clear crushed glass. So I'm just going to be doing it section by section. Do the top half first and then we'll let it dry a bit and do the next half next. Okay, now it's a few hours later and our circle is all dry with the Mod Podge and the crushed glass. So now I'm going to add some more Mod Podge to help seal in our crushed glass. And now I'm going to add some glitter. When I go right around and finish adding the glitter and sealing it in with the Mod Podge, I am going to set our circle aside to dry for a few hours. 
So now it's a few hours later and our circles are all dry. The one with the crushed glass and this the two black pieces with the glitter and the paint. So remember, we had opened the circles, two of them. So we're going to take the opening and put it inside to join the two circles together. Just like that. So now I'm going to use some hot glue and close back our little circle. And now we're just going to add the other circle to the other side. And once again, seal them together with some hot glue. So now I'm going to use some black, more black paint and just add some little paint to where we joined the circles together because they are showing some little bit of white spots. So I'm just adding some black paint to cover that up. And now we're going to start our second DIY which I have this tall vase here and I sectioned off the centerpiece just with some painter's tape because I don't want the centerpiece to have any of our um, paste on it, our molding paste, which here it is here. I'll be using this molding paste to add some texture to our vase. So I'll just be using this to add our molding paste all over our vase. So we're just taking out our paste like you see me doing here and then we're just going to add it going right around our vase. Okay, now that we have the paste all over our vase, <laughs> I'm just going to lift it up and I'm going to take this comb here and add some texture to our vase. So I'm just bringing the comb up and see it's adding a nice set of lines going up our vase. You could use any material that you have at home to add texture to your vase whatever um, texture you want to add just use simple things you have at home and do your DIY I think that looks very nice I like how it looks and now I'm just gonna set it aside to dry okay so now it's the next day I had my paste dry overnight you can let it dry for a few hours, but I prefer to let it dry 24 hours before I do anything with it. So as you can see, it looks nice and it's nice and firm. Well dry. So we're just going to add some black acrylic paint. Yes, now we're going to add some paint. <laughs> so I'm just going to be painting it all around the vase. Hey everyone, I had forgotten to mention that when you um, apply your molding paste, and you're going to sit down to dry overnight. Let it dry just for a few hours. Then take off the painter's tape. Don't let it dry the 24 hours with the painter's tape. Just let it get a little firm. And you'll know. And then that's the time you take off the painter's tape. 
I had forgotten to mention that part. <laughs> I love how the texture is showing through already and I'm not finished yet and I just love how it looks. So I'm just going to continue painting right around and then I'll set it aside to dry for a few hours. Alright everyone, our vase is all painted. I think it looks really nice. So the inside is um still showing the white you can add the paint to your molding paste and put everything on at once but i don't i like how the inside is kind of white i'm just gonna take my black paint and paint the inside of our vase okay it's a few hours later and now our vase is all dry and like i told you i went in on the inside with the black paint and just painted the inside of the vase and this is how it looks so now I'm gonna use some more of our clear crushed glass along with our Mod Podge and just fill in the glass part that I left separate so I'll just be adding the Mod Podge going right down And now I'm just going to add our clear crushed glass. And I'm just going to set it aside to dry for a few hours. And now that our crushed glass is all dry, I'll be going over it again with some more pod Mod Podge to help seal in the crushed glass. And now I'll be adding some of this glitter here. And then once again, I'll be setting everything aside to dry for a few hours. And here is our finished look. Our glam high-end DIY home decors. I love how they turned out. I think they look lovely. I love the loop design oh, with this middle loop, a different color with the crushed glass. I think it looks lovely. And our textured vase with the crushed glass in the middle. I love how the texture looks. Absolutely beautiful. This molding paste has stepped up the game of what you can do with your DIYs. And I love that I added the silver sparkle to the black round circles just to tie in more with the middle piece. I think they make a lovely coffee table decor. Beautiful items to help spruce up your home for this spring and summer. And here's our textured vase with some flowers inside. I think it looks absolutely beautiful with the flowers inside. 
it steps it up a notch and I think it looks even more beautiful. <laughs> So whether you want to use our pieces as statement pieces only, it, they do look lovely. Or if you want to add flowers, step it up a notch, they look absolutely beautiful. <laughs> so leave me a comment down below and tell me if how you feel about today's DIY. And tell me which one you liked best. <laughs> I love both of them. <laughs> and if you're new here, I'd like to say welcome once again. Thank you so much for coming on and seeing the DIY that I had to share with you today. And I hope you will hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell so you'll be notified every time I upload another DIY to share. And to my oldies and my goodies, thank you. <laughs> And remember, as always, stay blessed from Petal is Blessed, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye bye, everyone. You so vibey, you so vibe, you so vibey. She so vibey, she so vibe, she so vibey.